What is up guys, it's Bill Winnie here, but we call me Dominic, we are back here with our season 8, episode 7 review. So, let's do this. The show starts with the team on the AU, they talk briefly, and then Lila comes out of the tent and tells the team that they need to build a bomb. They go to the tent and talk for a while, when Oliver asks if he can talk, to his kids and tells them that he will die at the end of crisis. Then we go to John and Lila and they talk for a while. Then we go to a plane with Renee, Diana and Roy in a flying to Liang Yu. And then a rocket hits them and they crash. Then we go to the team trying to find them where they crashed and what Diana and Dad was carrying was away from them. So John Prana and Lila goes for Diana and Dan, and Oliver and Laurel goes for the thing that Diana had, and Maria stays behind with William. Then we go to Oliver and Laurel, and they talk for a little try to find the thing, and they talk for a bit. Then we go to Mia and William, and they talk for a bit. Then we go to John, William, Connor, and Lila, and they were looking for Diana. Renee and Roy, but they found, found Renee and Diana as Renee is injured and they don't know where Roy is. So Lila takes Renee to the tank and John, Connor and Diana takes look for Roy. Then we go to Oliver where he has fine thing that they were looking for, but a guy in a death strike mask has Laurel and Right, fires, fires comes out and they take off for a bit on how Oliver killed him. Then at, at um, the beginning of season one, I guess. I don't know. I don't know who that was. Then guys with guns come out and is about to shoot Oliver as he takes the shoot back. And Fryers runs away, so Oliver tells Laurel to give the thing back to Old William. Then Oliver goes up to Fryers. As Oliver is looking for Fryers, he gets shot by an arrow that catches it, and a guy who shot who shoot the arrow is Yahweh, and they talk for a while. Then we go to John and and that as they look are uh, looking for Roy. Then they fly on deal. But his arm is trapped. They try and pray get him free. But the thing on his arm is heavy. And the uh, Lord comes and tries to help him, but they can't move it. So they can have to kill his arm off. The Williams kind of cuts his arm off. Then we go to Oliver and Yafe as they are trying to find fuckers. But they get trapped in a net, so Oliver tries to cut them off. Then we go to Roy and the team. In the team, they try to stay there. Oliver is going out of fires, and Mia wants to find him, but William talks it out of it. Then we go to Oliver and Yafe as Oliver is trying to catch his way out, but Yafe uses the sun to get a, I think. Then we go to John and Roy, and they talk for a bit, and then Diana comes in and says they have a problem. So they go into a bunker, I think, and talks, talks for a bit. And Oliver comes and says that they need to fight fires. So they go to fight fires and fight fires and his group. Fight Oliver has to go to the bunker for the bomb to work because he needs his DNA sequence or something like that. So he goes to the bunker with John and picks up the bomb but it doesn't turn on because his DNA does not match but Lila's does. So she picks it up, the bomb, and it works but Lila says, oh, there was a huge flash. All the guys that they were fighting, fires men disappeared and that, so. Uh, then she says she has to go. 
Then she goes through a portal. Then we go to the team in the tent, and they're packing up, and they talk for a bit. The other robots to talk to Danae, Dinah and Renee, so they talk for a bit, for a goodbye speech, I think. So Dinah and Renee will probably not be in Crisis on Infinite Earths. Um, then we go to Roy and Oliver, and they talk for a bit. Then William comes in and tries to give um, Roy the thing that he gives him in the future fair, but he doesn't accept it, accept it or something. He doesn't want it, so yeah. And so that means Roy will not be in crisis. Obviously, he has one arm. How can he fight? So yeah. Then we go to John and Oliver, and they talk for a bit. So I'm guessing... John isn't going to be in crisis. I hope he is going to be in crisis because if anyone's going to go fight crisis with Oliver, it's going to be John. But I think the whole team should be there fighting him. Like how all the other ones are there. Then we go to Oliver as he's at the great side of his father and all the other people he lost in the thing. And Mia comes over and they talk for a bit. Then the sky goes red and Lila comes and then he says, the crisis has begun. Then we go to Harrison Wells from The Flash in a dark room and he's talking to someone and presses something and it opens. It gets sucked into it and the show ends. So that's the end of that sh- show. I'm wondering, is that the final Arrow show before the, well, after the crossover? Are we going to see another Arrow show, or is that the end of Arrow? Because if it is, then I don't know. So yeah, that's going to be the end of this video. Thank you guys for watching this video. Hit the like button, subscribe down below. And when the Crisis of Infinite Earths comes out, I'm going to review all of them, even though I'm not caught up with all the DC shows. I okay, I'm going to watch them. At the end of Arrow, with the Harrison Wells thing, it happens in every single TV show at the end of the show before the crisis. So, yeah, they've opened that fat woman, so I don't know what that means. But obviously, Harrison Wells is working with Mondo as well. So, I don't know. So, thank you guys for watching this video. Hit that like button and subscribe if you want to see some more Arrow reviews. Well, we might not have any more Arrow reviews. But we will have some crisis for you to use. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. Leave a like and subscribe for more. Peace.